Hello folks, this is Greg Jacobs here and what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to go and build a local mobile app for a localized business client, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to follow the exact strategy from looking up the client, how to contact them, and actually how to build the app. So this is kind of a kind of an all-in-one uh, tra training video, the only thing you're ever going to need to watch. And just, from there you can just go forth, okay? So let's just say I live in Carlsbad, uh, California, which is in San Diego. It's a little bit north of San Diego and I decided that I wanted to go and market to a local dentist, okay? So the first thing I do is I'm gonna to go to Google and I'm just gonna go um, search for a dentist. Let me get Google up here. Let's just search for a dentist in Carlsbad, okay? And the first one that comes up, you can see actually I, wanted, I planned this out a little bit before, but you know, forgive me there, okay? <laughs> the first one that comes up is um, Dr. Dr. Jeff Bell DDS. And he seems to already have a website, so he uh, seems to be well on his way and you know, is interested in having an online presence and probably interested in having a mobile presence as well, okay? Now, before I even contact Dr. Bell, um, what I'm going to go do is I'm actually going to go build, uh, I'm actually going to go build an app for his business before I even contact him. So when I when I go and in, into the appointment, um, I'm gonna have the app already built, okay? Now this is very, very important. Well, you actually, you don't have to build it before you contact him, build it after you get the appointment. So get the appointment first and then go build the app and go to the appointment with the app already built. Having them, when they see the app already built, they're gonna be completely blown away. So your uh, your appointment with them isn't about you know selling them should you build them an app app or not. It's about customizing the app and making improvements. So I'm, right now I'm going to do a little bit of stealth ninja research on Dr. Bell on the internet and see what we can find out about him. Okay, so we're going to first thing we do is just go let's go ahead and click through to his website. Okay, so you can see there's uh, there's Dr. Bell and his uh, his lovely staff of uh, dental hygienists. <laughs> uh, I guess that's I guess when you live in San Diego, you get a bunch of beautiful dental hygienists. So you know, maybe I'll move to San Diego too. So um, you, know, you can see Doctor Doctor Bell has a website. Um, you know he seems to be a fairly up to date doctor. Um, he has a blog, um, all the different sort of contact information. Let's go see what he has on the contact us page. Okay. Um, by the way, Dr. Bell doesn't know I'm doing this. So maybe Dr. Bell doesn't know he's famous right now in the Sky Builder, Sky Builder training video. And I haven't actually went to go sell him yet. I might go do it if I get a chance the next time I go through Carlsbad. But, so this is a totally random example. So you can see here with Dr. Bell, he has his phone number. He has his email. Um, he has his Google Click directions. Um, I don't see any sort of... Um, Thing with Facebook or Twitter, which um, you know, maybe you know, if I run a complete local marketing toolkit, I could go and sell him like Facebook and Twitter services as well. But let's just start with what we have here, okay? So we basically have Dr. Bell's basic information from his website, and from there, we're just going to go build an app, and it's only going to go take us a few minutes, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, here and we're going to click on Sky Builder SMB. Remember SMB spans for small business, and we got to click that little button to launch it, and it goes and launches in a new window. Okay. Then what we want to do is we simply just go click the new create new app button. Okay. From there we go and select our template. Um, you know, artists, auto services, conferences, doctors, and dentists. There you go. You see, we've already we have them all laid out for you. Okay. And we're simply just going to go create app. Okay. Now the next thing that you want to do is um, okay. We'll enter your app title. Let's call it um, Doctor Jeff Bell DDS. And app description for patients of Dr. Bell. Okay, it's a good description. Um, app icon, we're going to need a 114 by 114 image to represent this. Um, what is really, really cool is you can actually go to um, uh, Google Images um, and you can actually go and uh, let's, let's just search for dentist. Let's just search for dentist and then we go to search, change it to images. Um, you can actually go and change the uh, the size of um, the images you get. Um, you can't see it on the screen right now, but if you just go on the left-hand side, there's an exactly button where I can search for 114 by 114. And of course, I'm going to give you the standard disclaimer. Always make sure you have the rights to the images that you use. Okay, so that's that's the end of my disclaimer for there. But okay, I told you. Okay, so don't use images without rights. Okay, so we just go pick one of these images out. Um, we can go save image as and oh I already did it okay I set this up but there you go so there there's your image right there okay so then we're gonna go back to Sky Builder where are we here and we're simply gonna go choose file and then we have that there 
and platforms, iPhone, Android. Um, I'm gonna actually demonstrate it to Dr. Bell on my Android phone because I, like, I prefer Android. Um, so for right now, I'm just gonna make it an Android, okay? Um, this is obviously what we present to him is not gonna be the final version. He's gonna wanna do you know, some tweaks and such in our meeting with him, okay? So we just click save and continue. Okay, now, now we got a lot of really, really interesting stuff. So um, this is where you're gonna be filling in the information on, on, the, uh, on the app and all the cool stuff. So launch title tab, this is what people are gonna see when they open it up. So it's gonna be like, hello from Dr. Bell. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, click to call phone number because people are gonna want to you know, be able to get in touch with Dr. Bell. I'll just go ahead and copy that from his phone. Um, from his uh, website, and what's very, what's very, bit, what's very, very cool is that where did it go? It's very, very cool. Is um, this is going to show up on the people's phone, and they can just click to call instantly, make an appointment. Um, the same thing with click to email. Let's do that right there. Um, so they're just going to show up there in those directions, and then we can all obviously um, go and put the directions in there as well. Okay. And let me go ahead and paste that in there, okay? Um, the next thing we need is a launch image. Um, this is going to be the big splash image that's on the front page of the thing when they go and um, when they go and open it up. Um, so I'm going to go and look on Dr. Bell's website. Um, let's see here. Meet Dr. Bell. And you can see there that's, that's a perfect size. I'm not quite sure if it's exactly... Um, uh, 640 by 960, but it looks like it's it's pretty close, and we can scale it or crop it. I'm going to put it in there and just see how it goes. So I'm just going to go um, save it in there, and then um, where do we go here? Just choose file, and we're going to go save and continue. You can, so you can see you can see here um, you can see here it's really really simple. I mean it's really really simple going and you know finding finding a client that you want to contact. I'd recommend first going in. You know, calling them on the phone. We have detailed instructions um, on the inside. You know, ways to go and market to them. Um, calling them up, getting the appointment, saying, you know, can I, if I could show you a way to add 10% to your bottom line in 10 minutes, would you accept it? You know, and you get the appointment, you go in there, and obviously, if you have other uh, local marketing services, you package that in there as well. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and select um, the different kinds of modules that we want to go and put in for Dr. Bell. Okay. Um, I didn't see that Dr. Bell had a Twitter or a Facebook account um, listed. So, um, I, and let's see, in the contact us here. So, um, we're not going to put that in there. So, let me go ahead and un untick the Twitter and the Facebook. Um, this might actually be another thing that we could go and sell Dr. Bell when we're there is to go maintain like a Facebook fan page or a Twitter thing for him as well as a local marketing consultant. Um, same thing for YouTube. Maybe he has a YouTube account that we don't know about. For now, we're going to go leave those blank. Okay. So what else we can go and put in there? Um, local news. Um, Dr. Bell's from Carlsbad, so we can actually go and target um, local news from Carlsbad because you know people uh, aren't going to want to just keep an app on their phone that's just you know, you know, Dr. Bell. Here's my phone number and contact me. Um, you know, that's quickly going to lose interest. The idea behind creating these local marketing apps is that uh, what what actually what actually happens is you provide people a complete localized app with lots and lots of content and lots and lots of cool stuff in there. So yeah, they're downloading the app because you know they're one of Dr. Bell's patients, but this app actually goes and gives you know live updated feeds on you know Carlsbad News, Carlsbad events, Carlsbad Daily Deals, and you know it can be other things. So you're actually providing, um, Dr. Bell will actually be providing you know his customers with not only a way to contact him and keep in touch with him, but a way to go and um, a way to go and um, you know keep updated. So right now we're just going to select local news, local events, deals, and I think um, Dr. Bell had a blog. Yep, yep, Dr. Bell has a blog, and so what we can do is we can actually go and include the blog feed on there. When you go and find a blog that you want to include, you just go. Um, I'm sorry, you can't see it; it's kind of off the recording area, but um, bl slash blog slash RSS, and that's going to give you the URL like that. Um, just copy it. It's in the PDF training, um, so don't don't worry if you didn't quite understand what I just did. Um, so then you, you can just copy that in there, okay? So um, other things, you know, we'll cover the other ones in the niche video. So like if you were making a niche app or something, um, then you know you'd want news, keyword, events. You know, if Dr. Bell was an amateur photographer, we would do a photo search and put his Flickr stuff up there. But you know, if he is, we don't know his information. So for now, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do local Carlsbad news local Carlsbad events, local Carlsbad deals, 
and let's do Dr. Bell's blog feed, okay? Um, you know, there's other things, push notifications and GPS coupons, but you know, for this simple app, we're not going to go there right now, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and customize all of them, okay? So the first thing I wanted to go and customize is uh, his blog feed because I remember uh, Doc, Dr. Bell went and had a blog. So let's just go ahead and go to the blog feed thingy. And there it is. The first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and change that icon. That's a really, really boring icon. Let's find a better icon that's more representative of Dr. Bell. And I think there was actually a dentist tooth in here. So let's go ahead and find where that tooth is. And there it is, right there. Okay, so we're just going to click that little tooth, and then we're going to click Save and Continue, and this is going to be the little icon here. And then we have to put the feed URL in before. Okay, let's let's say Doctor's Blog. Okay, and let's just hit Save and Reload, and we're going to get a little preview of that individual module right now. So you can see here um, in this preview of this individual section, um, they have instant access to Doctor Bell's blog right there. On, um, on their phone, okay? So let's go ahead and fill in the rest of the content right now. Um, local, new, local, local news, that's always a really, really cool thing to do. Um, tab title, local news, let's, let's, let's say it's Carl's bad news, okay? You, you can actually set it to be geo-targeted to the user's location, or you can have it be um, specific to his particular area. Um, since Dr. Bell's based in Carlsbad, he probably wants people um, doing Carl's bad news, so um, let's just go ahead and type in the location there, Carl's bad. Okay. and do save and reload yep okay there you go all local news based on um, you know did Carl's bad okay very 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 cool stuff and of course you can go change the icon right now there and stuff but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that right now okay and just we'll just go with the default default icons for the rest of them um, local events we could do the same thing for Carl's bad events um, static location and we'll call it Carlsbad Events. And then we're going to click Save and Reload. Yeah. And we're going to have to go type in the location again for, for Carlsbad, okay? And that's going to give localized events to the Carlsbad region. So if it's any sort of parties, festivals, whatever, it's going to go and be localized based on that. So it's good. So what you're doing again is you're, you're providing people with a complete resource. And of course, there there's daily deals as well. With um, I think it goes through Groupon or something. So static location um, zip code. I think Carlsbad zip code is nine two zero zero eight for here. Um, Carlsbad and Carls bad deals. Okay, and there's a little thing. Okay, of course we can go and change that. And um, here's the general, here's the general preview for Dr. Bell. You can see, um, you know, off at photo shoots, massage, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and return to um, return to the tab list. Oh, I forgot to go put this in um, this master keyword, master address. Well, what what this is is I could have if this works more for niche stuff. So if I'm filling in a bunch of content feeds and I have like a keyword, like if I'm doing an app on like a famous uh, pop singer like Lady Gaga. You can just put Lady Gaga and it automatically pops everything. Then, then on the next page, um, all, we can just move things around. Um, Doctor's blog, Carl's bad deal. Let's put Carl's bad news there. Carl's bad events and services. And then we're gonna go save and continue. And now we have an app ready to go. So you can see there, this is what we're going to go and install on our phones, and we're going to go to our meeting with Dr. Bell. And I know Dr. Bell would love nothing more for you to show up uh, at, at the meeting with the very own app, uh, mobile app dedicated to him. He's absolutely going to love that. Look at that. You have your little icon, you open it up, and there's, there's Dr. Bell in front of the ocean smiling at you, and that's just absolutely fantastic. And you can see here there's interactive features. You know, you click there and you get directions to his office. Click there, you automatically call him. Click there, automatically email him. There's no way that Dr. Bell doesn't want this. I mean, and, and, the, and the way that you can price it, you know, it depends on what sort of services you're offering him. I mean, if it's just, you can just sell it to him a once off, you can be like, Dr. Bell, 500 bucks, here you go. And that's an easy 500 bucks for you. There's no cost to build it per app, which is the cool thing about SkyBuilder. You just go and you just, with your license, you can build and sell as many as you want. You don't got to pay us for each one. You know, it's yours to do with as you please. Or you could go and get Dr. Bill, Dr. Bell on some sort of 
you know, larger program where you're doing Twitter or Facebook services for him. Maybe if he doesn't have a website, you could be making his website or maintaining his website. Or you could sell it to him on a subscription. You can say, listen, I'll go and put this up and I'll maintain it for you for $100 a month. You know, like those sort of options are covered, you know, in the PDF training. But these are just ideas to get you going. So let me show you what's going on. Here's the main page. They're going to see hello for Dr. Bell. Oh, I'm sorry, I made a spelling error. Hello from Dr. Bell. I'll go change that later before I show it to him. Um, so when you go to the meeting, the meeting's going to be about customizing it for because maybe Dr. Bell would say, oh, well, you know, I do have a Flickr account where I go and post my photos of after every root canal of all my patients. You can link to that and you can do that as well. OK, but let's just go ahead and take a quick look, look here. What's going on? OK, um, so right right here is. Um, so right here is, you know, Dr. Bell's blog. Um, so there's your um, your Carlsbad news. Um, it's very, very cool. Your your Carlsbad, um, Carlsbad Daily Deals. Wait for a second for that to come up. Um, and your, your Carlsbad lo local local event calendar. Now, what's, what's very, very cool, and of course, Doctor's Blog again. Um, what's very, very cool is people will download those. His patients, uh, Dr. Bell's patients, are going to download those because they're a patient of Dr. Bell, and they love them, and Dr. Bell will love to give to him because he's giving them an app for their phone that has his picture on it. I mean, what doctor or dentist doesn't love more than everybody having a picture of them <laughs> in their phone? But um, they're going to keep using it, um, not because it has Dr. Bell's picture on it or because it's Dr. Bell's you know local app. They're going to use it as their actual news source. They're going to be like, oh, Carl's Bad News, Carl's Bad Deals, Carl's Bad Events. And what's even more cool... Um, you know, maybe not so much for dentists where people, you know, they don't want to come and come to the dentist all the time. <laughs> but, you know, if you're doing it like for something like a hair salon is we have push notifications. So what you can do, and this is how you get them on a subscription fee um, rather than just a once off, is you can sell the push notification service to them where um, anytime you like, anytime they're having a special deal, like if they have a hair salon and they're like, all right, well, you know, half off haircuts only on Sunday. On Saturday, you could do a push notification to all everybody who has an install of, of that app, that particular app, and say, all right, come in on Saturday for half off of, um, of haircuts, or come on Sunday for half, half off of haircuts. So what it does in addition to building branding and goodwill of customers is it gives you a direct line to them. And, and research shows that push notifications are more effective than um, email. It's more effective than text messages. And it's definitely more effective than calling because nobody wants to get calls anymore. Nobody uses their phone for calling. They just use it for other sort of stuff. So you can see here, this is a complete, totally incredible toolkit that you need in order to do this. Okay. So that is the main demonstration on um, how to use SkyBuilder for um, for local businesses, of course, in the PDFs and the training, there's a lot more, you know, in detail on that. But that's just the basic wow demonstration. And now, if you watch this, you're probably going, wow, I can do that. And reality is you can. This is an incredible tool. Um, and I suggest you put it to the best use possible. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Greg Jacobs.